G'day everyone, these are three more LEGO sets that I am buying and have bought for LEGO investing in 2022. Let's talk about it. Righto, capping off at number one, these are in no particular order in how many I have gotten or my preferences over which ones. These are just three that I have bought and I am continuing to buy it before they do retire by the end of the year. And as you can see on the screen, the first one is the International Space Station. This is set number 21321 has 864 pieces and this one will actually earn you 450 VIP points if you buy it from the Lego store. Now here in Australia, as you can see, this one has a retail price of 100 bucks. Try and always, you know, get your Lego sets at 20% off or better, do what you can do. So aim for around 80 bucks, but this one here in Australia has been pretty hard to get at least for the last 12 months. It's usually out of stock, it's back in stock at the moment. And Lego, you can see, have officially tagged this one as retiring soon. So why am I buying this one? Pretty much, if you go and have a look on the secondary market at this one, it is already selling for about 150 bucks Australian. So there's already about a 50% return on investment if you buy it right now. And I can see this set. Yeah, it has been out for about three years by the time it retires, but it's space, it's International Space Station, it's iconic, space sets do usually tend to do well. So that's why I'm buying this one and I reckon it's going to easily double in value in the next 12 to 18 months So I have picked up a few of these ones the next one on the list Which I don't think I've actually mentioned on this channel before is the bro Thor's new Asgard set number 76200 265 pieces and it does have two minifigures as you can see with the Korg and the bro Thor. Now, why am I buying this one? It's obviously a part of the um, the Endgame movie, which is pretty much one of the most highest grossing movies of all time, one of the most successful and popular Marvel movies of all time. And it's that iconic scene when they're in that room and they're playing Fortnite, and when we see Thor for the first time, how he's gotten fat. So very iconic. It is 50 bucks here in Australia. I did pick them up for, I think, about 30 bucks at Target uh, a few months back. So I got them for better than 20% off. So it does have that going for it for me. But the figs in this set, I think, are worth about 30 bucks anyway. So if I was to just sell the Korg and the Thor by themselves, I've already made my money back and then you've got all the other pieces. So I'd imagine this would be a half decent part out set, but for investment purposes, buy it at that lower price and it's easily for me going to, I'm going to be able to just have to sell it at 60 bucks for me to double my money. But it may reach $100 in the next 12 to 18 months. I don't think it'll do that well, but buy it at a decent discount and easily this set will be doubling your money. And the last one is another Brickhead set. I do love the Brickheads and that is the Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote. This is set number 40559, 205 pieces and in Australia it retails for 30 bucks. Now I have picked up, I think about eight of these so far, not too many for my standards, but eight, I did get them by three, get one free, I do believe, which is essentially 25% off. And I did get a few with uh, gift with purchase as well. So around that 25% uh, percent off market, did pick these up for, so decent enough. I can see these, they are only currently think only Looney Tunes brickheads. So if they do continue the theme with Looney Tunes, obviously these are gonna be collectible because they were the first ones released, I'm pretty sure. So, Hopefully they do continue with the Brickheads with the Looney Tunes because as I said, it will make this one a bit more sought after. But either way, Roadrunner, Wiley Coyote, iconic childhood, especially childhood for me. It was one of my favorite car um, the, the cartoons from the Looney Tunes. So that's why I'm going with this one. And I just believe, and licensed Brickhead sets tend to do pretty well. And it only has to go up to about 40 something bucks for me to double money. So 12 months easy peasy. So those three again that I have bought and will continue to buy for investing purposes is the International Space Station, Brothor's New Asgard and the Road Runner and Wiley Coyote set. Now I am back to uploading daily. I got sick and I'm sorry I've been slack for the last two weeks. That hit me pretty rough but that's it. Done. Let's get back into it. The new setup's all good to go. The new house has moved in. We're all good to go. So back into it. So if there's anything you do want me to talk about or review or anything like that, leave a comment down below. But I will have some more investment reviews coming out, some investment updates and all that kind of stuff for Pokemon and as well Lego. So it's all coming back. I apologize, but let's get back into the swing of things. So if you did enjoy the video, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.